on earth is going on here? Oh no, are you a chili? Heck! There's calves everywhere. Guys, why aren't you on the bed? You little weirdos. We're going to need a right good clean up. Someone back there. That's a cow, is Why's your baby on the floor there? So silly. Right, heat lamp's on, pen's bedded, car. Now we will go and get the car that's under the car <laughs> in my little wheelbarrow. Here it is. <laughs> it's not expected to be this. I first got here this morning. Right, that's in there, it'll warm up. We've now got cows out. <laughs> Hell, it's all going wrong. <sighs> Jump on here. Yeah. I don't know. Got out of it, surely not. No idea. Just waiting for the final escapee, and I think it was my fault. Whoopsie. Ones, and I'm just going to show you the calves. Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> so there's one there. Ah, oh, the other one looks happier already. You warming up? You warming up in there? Yeah. Hello. What a crowd you doing. Right, here we go. You can see it now. Meg went to the auction yesterday, as well as Alex selling calves at Bentham. Meg went to Brock auction and ended up buying that little red heifer, which has come from Mr. Tom Pemberton's. So we'll see how she gets on. She's nice and steady though, aren't you, lass? Checking it all in. Oh. guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well we're back home we're back from camping um crazy morning this morning and i've got to hold my hands up it was actually my fault um i got here this morning first thing and russell was like barking at something literally as i just pulled into the yard and um 
I looked outside and there's a little calf led under the farm car. So how the hell have you got there? Anyway, turns out something's carved and with the we've got like bobby bobby ways in the gate. What do you call it? Yeah, so we've got like bobby holes in the gateway so that you can bob in and out of the um sheds easier so you don't have to open the gate to be able to get in and out and obviously a calf can fit through there as much as we can so it obviously been born it's ha it had drunk from its mother because it had um mucked so i could tell it had had a drink it's then gone for a wander and tech and camp under the car so i moved that because it was cold set the pen up and you've seen all of that i've done all that and then as i was moving it through the gate and I shut the gate behind me. Well, I thought I shut the gate behind me. I like pushed it too because I had the wheelbarrow in one hand and like shoved the gate behind me. And I thought it clicked and it's not clicked. And the cows have made full, taken full advantage of that and legged it. Ben was still in bed and he oh. said, he came after and he was like, I heard all the commotion, like all the bawling, like the cows moving because I'm obviously moving a car through. And the, they're like what the hell's this um and then he heard lots of who's like trotting past his window he's actually staying at the farm at the minute so yeah kind of was my fault but not to worry we all rallied around and got them all back in i think there was about maybe two sides that had got out so i don't know 15 10 didn't even look that many it wasn't even that big of a deal to be honest <laughs> 10 <laughs> 10 of them got out anyway so we sorted all that out i then showed you a heifer which was um the little red heifer which was tom pemberton's i'm gonna go and find her in the shed we got three i spotted the other one but i didn't spot the third one maybe i'll see if i see that one coming in tonight um and then right now ben is just mucking out the drag house Scoop, 
this little red thing. Yes, you. It's just not my camera off and then legged it. She used to be on the vlog. That's what it is. You're gonna be in the limelight, don't you, love? <laughs> Our legs. Becky, um, who works for us on a Tuesday and a Thursday, had been on the scrape tracks this morning. She only got little legs. Couldn't get the seat back. Anyway, it's just it. is he's just got some clean straw you don't want to waste so he's just going to tip that out there it's a little so we're on the run up to christmas how many days is it now it's not quite 10 is it 12 i don't know anyway we like to get everything mucked out before christmas comes um just so we're not doing it in on the week in between christmas and new year because we tend to have a bit of time off in between then well, you know, we alternate it, so um, <clears throat> not everyone has to be in, like, people can have time off. Um, so, yeah, that's why we're mucking out today. Uh, we tend to muck these dry cows out every six to eight weeks, probably eight weeks, more like. Um, so, yeah, these are the due anyway, but it's also because it's nearly Christmas time as well, and we just like everything to be um, mucked out, clean over that Christmas period, and then there's not, it's not to do in that period. I hope that makes sense. That makes sense. When we put the new straws into the building, like we have just done with these, we cut off the bottom two strings on the bottom bale and take them strings out. Because as the bedding gets bigger and higher, 
when you come round to using this bale to bed up with, this bottom one, you can't reach the bottom two strings. So it's a nightmare to get your straw out. If you know, you know, I'm telling you, because if you're trying to bed up and your, your straw bale's buried, it's very annoying. So yeah, little tip for you there. well bagged up like her over there she's gonna carve soon that's these dry cows mucked out bedded and finished we're all done here uh, so i'm gonna leave the video there now guys if you haven't done already please do like and subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow bye guys <laughs>